What's going on there, YouTube? What's up out there, YouTube? <laughs> this is SEL 0320. This is Joe Johnson 030. Uh, representing JVS, we are back for another season two of uh, uh, Flash. This is episode 22. One more episode until we get to the season finale. The name of this episode is Invincible. And uh, I mean, we're going to go into full spoilers. So if you haven't seen the episode, definitely click this, put it in your watch later, come back to it, go and watch it on CWTV.com. From my understanding, Hulu now is going to be doing like streaming live. As it goes, so once it's on television, you can be able to see it the same day, which is awesome. So you should be able to get that availability to you pretty soon for y'all YouTube uh, Hulu subscribers. But this is a heavy episode, man. Uh, Joe kind of said, I mean, there were strong points and there were weak points. I mean, to me, the strongest points were definitely Wally and Barry. Wally and his realization of being a man and taking responsibility and making a difference and being a hero. Um, Caitlyn and her mental capacity is just like all over the place and she's trying to get herself together. Um, but the end for me was everything. I mean, that was the reason why I put the episode at a 9.5 out of 10 because I, I actually kind of predicted it just from what something that Zoom said. He basically, he was, the way that he kind of described the whole perspective is that you can't win because you can't be everywhere at once. And the thing that makes you you is the thing that's going to defeat. That's why I always win. And he's watching, and Barry's watching like this building just like crumble to the ground. <clears throat> and he knew he had to go and try to save people in it. But Zoom said, that's the reason why I'm going to win always. And I, I thought to myself, honestly, that the way you crack a hero is to put fear in him. And Barry, he felt himself invincible. And, I mean, that's going to shatter him. Like, I don't know, man. Uh, what were your thoughts on the ending, and then what were some of the weak points you thought of the episode? Uh, weak point of this episode was definitely, uh, what's her name, Black, uh... You're talking about Laurel Lance? Laurel. Well, why do you think she was weak, though? Because she actually was better in this show she than she was in Arrow. I don't know, it was just whack. I was just like, and Barry didn't really even fight her. Like, that's a He thing. got put down by her. Yeah, I was just like, come on, Barry. Like, what are you doing? So, you think that's the writers or you think that's the character, though? This writers, man. Um, but, I mean, she, Barry's faced opponents like this before. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not nothing. Well, new. no. It was a, that Flash and uh, Supergirl episode. Like, he got put down by somebody that had the same abilities called Banshee. And he got, I mean, he got taken down. But, I mean, to me... He's more in tune with the speed force. I felt like he could have moved out the way. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Wait, what's definitely. faster? What's faster? Speed of light or speed of sound? The speed of light is definitely faster. So, I, I don't that's know. what I'm saying. Like, um, but anyway, um, you know what I'm saying? Barry could definitely choked her out and just been like, go to sleep. And she would have been like, I, don't, I can't. I, I suck as a villain. Um, but that's that's the thing like that for me that was like the weakest point in this episode um now i would say the strong point uh definitely uh um, dang your voice cracked joe barry uh barry talking to uh wally and then barry having a realization and he talked to joe he was like look you know um he's got the same drive you do um so you can't we should we even want to stop him should we yeah. encourage him he should be the hero um, so that was cool. I thought that was deep. Um, and then for all you shippers out there, um, West you know, Allen, West Allen, West Allen, you know he's definitely made that move. He was like, "Yo, let's give this a shot." But he then like, this is the same day that exactly. Spoiler alert: His dad got killed, exactly. y'all, in the same place. His mom got killed. Exactly. I mean, here's the thing, bro. Zoom counts on Barry being afraid now, but that could backfire. Cause like Barry could just go all out post the line of God and just destroy him. But then that he still win because what he said that you're only one more bad day with me, basically. Like it's only gonna take one little nudge and you're gonna beat me. And that could happen. I mean, even if he beats Zoom I mean, and kills him, like Barry could come out never the same. I mean, well, if he does kill Zoom, I mean, I'm not saying he's not justified. He would be completely justified. But by him doing that, it puts him at this platform where he might not come back. 
What's to stop him from killing the next villain, the next villain, the next villain? True. True. Well, I don't know, man. All I know, that job was sad. Is Zoom is a douchebag. He is. Boy, that, I mean, the hugest douchebag. I mean, come on. I was sitting come there, on. I was sitting there watching, I was like, oh, man. I think my heart, like, as soon as he grabbed his dad, like, my heart was like, just like. This dude, like, literally, I'm just like, bruh, come on. Like, if he gets, if he get X'd out, whatever. I ain't gonna share no tears. But he's a good villain, though, man. He might be the best villain that they've ever come up with, to be quite honest. I mean, I, I know, I, like, we're coming off of some hard stuff right now. But, I mean, he is one of the best villains. I don't like Zoom. And that he I didn't said, like it. Um, he's not his friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. I don't know who's worse of a villain that I, I, I think is more of a douchebag. Uh, what's his name? The dude in the arrow right now, the villain in the arrow right now, Damien Dark. Damien Dark, nah, he's a douchebag. Nah, nah, and then, he's a better villain, though. He is, but both are equal douchebags, in my opinion. Yeah. Anyway. Damien Dark is more of a more of a douchebag because he's just Damien Dark. Somebody just need to put him out of his misery a long time ago. Like they, they and they could have killed they him. They could have, and like he's still a villain. It's but, like, but Zoom, this ninja, everybody's getting dissipated because Barry did this really cool thing of like you know breaking like the mode of the sound barrier within the minds of all the Earth two people. And Zoom still fought it off, punched a hole, and went to the Earth too. Like, I didn't like know out of that. nowhere. Who knew he could do that? Like, I mean, I knew he was going back and forth from like Earth One, Earth Two, but I never saw him do it. Right. This dude, I mean, he did it at will. Like, <laughs> how the heck do you do that, bro? Like, and secondly, if he is that fast, like, should not barely be able to do that. That's what I'm saying. Maybe or, he has learned. Maybe, but I'm just like, bruh, the dude is OP. Like, I feel like he's OP. I mean, you just, you're in your feels right now, Joe. It's okay. I don't it's okay. like him. I understand. We gotta go, y'all. We'll be like, back. How you gonna destroy the dude? <laughs> Leave a like father. below if you enjoyed our spoiler Man. review. And uh, go and check out our reaction Where, to if you hear me, episode 22, season writers 2, of this show, Invincible. You hear me. Keep it live. Destroy Zoom. yes. We ain't gonna stop. We love y'all. <laughs> Peace. Oh my gosh. <laughs>